Yeah, we're going to be doing a bunch of point one point twos in this playthrough. Hey there, everyone, this is Life. We're going back to my playthrough of Persona Q. Today, we're going to hopefully finish up uh, the group date cafe stop one. That's the hope. Last time, we didn't, like, seemingly do too much. We got this entire section of the map co uh, cornered off, and we still have, like, seemingly 40% of the map left to go, but we should go faster now. Alright, so we still have the sandal effect. Let's just quickly... Waltz over here and see what's up. So, uh, was there any reason for that door? I'm a little confused. I haven't done this in a while. Variety set. Still easy. That was a really clean finish. I enjoyed that. Alright, Matuti. Choose a skill you want to get. Sleep circle. Yes. No petrify. Ooh. That could be good. Skull cracker. Gross. Choose one to get rid of. We'll just get rid of that one. Yeah. And then the next one's Gale Link. Jesus. I don't need any of Kusit's skills. I'm just using it as a... Just like, harbor these skills until I get an, a new one shows up and then I ship it. Basically it, yeah. I feel like I missed an entire left side of this. Oh yeah, okay, so it's all connected. And yeah, I have to walk all over it, so... It's fine. I don't have any more sandals, though, but... You know what? I can... Yeah, it's not, it's not even a big sacrifice. Easy peasy. Treasure hand's not the same as wealth hand. I could set up the death counter, but it's probably not going to do anything. I don't think poison lands on it ever. I know paralysis does, but if poison lands on it, that'd be hilarious. So I guess I'll test to see if it has a poison immunity or not. It might just dodge it, and maybe it just never lands. I don't know. You know what, but I think it's worth a shot, so that's why I'm doing it. Uh, we'll go for a... Tempest, because I'm going to try to leg bind it, and hopefully that will hit a bunch. I can also go for the panic here, but uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to hit it in the face. And we'll go for a lethargy circle. Don't run away. I should have spotlighted the lethargy circle. Lesson learned. Uh, not Basically does not count as fighting the wealth hand. The wealth hand just got away, and we basically didn't get in our compendium because of it. Oh look, another fight. Oh look, a new enemy. You know that idol we found at the very beginning? Yeah, you remember that idol way back when we first entered the stratum? It's by itself. It's an easy set. Just take my word for it. Tranquil idol is apparently weak to light. So we have another pushover enemy. I love pushover enemies, they're the best. Sarcasm not intended. Let's go through the... You go right for that, Yukari. Oh boy, now there's two of them, so you have to keep track of both of them. We'll be coming back to this room later, I think quest-wise and stuff. We're gonna have to come back, but it's all okay. Okay, so these guys are a little bit harder to pass on the horizontal axis than they are the vertical. While you're on the vertical axis, uh, these guys are just not hard to dodge around at all, but, I mean, yeah, on the vertical axis, because you can pass by one, then you can pass by the other one, and when, but on a vertical, uh, when they're, God bless, okay, arrows, so when they're going left to right, it's just, yeah, when they're going left to right like this, it, it's harder to dodge them, because you have to go up twice, and it, it's more, it, you have a smaller window of time to pass by, but vertically, because it looks like this, it's much easier to pass by. Okay, I, I made my point. I made my point. Okay, I made my point. God bless game. I really... Stupid paintbrush is stupid. Gotcha? Okay. Good. Alright. So yeah, I had that window to pass, and then I have this window to pass. That's all I was trying to say. Game is stupid and silly and dumb. We'll come back to this room later. It's, it's an obnoxious room to go through for 100%. But the game kind of tells you where they are pretty easily, so you don't need to really worry about it. 
Oh, we're talking about archery now? <laughs> she's gonna... <laughs> you, she's not that inept with weapons, even though her main weapon is her feet. Okay. Oh my god, Aikiko, no. Don't encourage. Okay, good. Great news! Teddy, but she has great news! Man, we have a lot of requests just stockpiling. We got a legendary medicine and now this. So, yeah. More boring quester. More quests are opening themselves up for, like, no reason. Oh, we got to a second door today. How nice. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Question number two. Alright. Hi. I, heard you talking about me, so here I, am. I think that's just a coincidence. It wasn't it, that. I mean, if, 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 I guess if you say so. It may as well be. Okay, question number two. What's, What's your, your idea of a good time together? To Definitely outdoors or positively indoors. Oh my god, I'm such an indoor person. I could. Ugh. Oh. Okay, well, that answered that question. Sure. I'm gonna be answering these questions, uh... I'm gonna answer these questions genuinely, and we're gonna see what we end up with. Are we getting closer to our destined partners? Are we? Quite possibly, Ray. Ignored. No. You're not- it's not worth it, Teddy. Anyways, just... Put the clean room there, and then we did this, this here, and then that there, and then we drag another red door there. Okay, we good. And this also unlocks the shortcut back there, which is great. What's wrong, Ken? Yeah, because this- Ken, that sound is this door over here. Don't you know how to map things? Silly boy. I'm so bad at mapping. Okay. Put that there. Check this out. Got a bunch of dried orchid. Okay. Wow, there's a, you can use this spot a lot. That's great. Free money. I love free money. Okay! Now we can go through this door. Do I want to go through this door? Uh, is the gorgeous king behind this door? I don't know if I want to open this door. Okay. I, ready isn't going to be. Alright. Am I prepared? Close enough. Let's go. <laughs> stupid, stupid questions. Alright, so there's a forest fight. And it's the... Was the game really just about to make me get blindsided by this set? Was that really a thing that was going to happen? Also, I don't remember the idle basalt's weaknesses. I don't. I don't think it's still lightning, but... We may as well just start throwing everything at them and seeing what sticks. We got the orb of resolve up, so hopefully no one will die. Hopefully. Not weak to fire. Oh, that's right. They have the petrify skill. The really, really dumb petrify skill. And power charge. Oh, man. This is going to be fun. And Yosuke's done for. Rip, rip Yosuke. Still weak to lightning. I'm glad that's still true. Mudo missed. And I'm a mist. Okay then. So spotlighting Yukiko to get 
the Petrify off of Yosuke, and then everything else is fine. Okay, good. We'll be fine. Let's do this. So, use the Potra Jump, free up Yosuke. This will hopefully kill that guy. We're getting pretty close. Oh my god, this is so bad. Going for Yosuke again. Stop it. Leave Yosuke alone. What did he do? He's dead now. Great. This will this will help us get some much needed damage in. This is obnoxious. Really obnoxious. Okay. So I have a revival. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna try to do some mass confusion. I should have done this first. Please knock him over. Thank you. Okay, we got Yosuke back alive. Maybe this time he won't die instantly. Easy. God dang it. Why are these enemies so dumb? Duh. Why did they shove four, five of them in a single set that was supposed to blindside you? And, uh, really? Only one of them? Is there an easy way to do this? God bless, game. Kill that one dead. Just get it. You don't have to. Hit that one, because this one's going to die here. Then you send a Hama back on that one. Please don't make this hard game. Thank you for knocking that one over. That's fine. That's not fine. What the hell? Please kill over and die. Thank you. Jeez. Do some damage. The orb resolve is gone. I understand, but I'm out of ways to treat treat him. <sighs> just, just take it one enemy at a time, John. They'll die eventually. Do not make this set any less of a pain. And literally nothing else on this stupid floor, or even half of the next one, is going to be as hard as this set. I don't know why they threw this set at you. At all. It baffles me. Alright, I can imagine doing this set on a harder difficulty is a pain in the butt. Because I still don't have no Petrify on anything yet. Life Aid. Ooh, Archangel. You look nice. No Paralysis. Good. Nukapeki is not that good, but Life Aid? Could be good. Uh, which one of these things is the most useless? I kind of want him for Fusion Blast, but I kind of don't need him. I need to get rid of Aura Boss. It's fine. You beat that dangerous enemy. Yeah, Dangerous is right. I do not need Harvest Prayer on this Persona. It is not necessary. Just forget it. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. And we move on with our life. Do we really... Yeah. Okay. Thank you for the words of wisdom. I am careful. But I'm going to use a go home the moment the encounter rate becomes 
an issue, so... Teehee! Oh, well, that was a catastrophe of a fight. That also probably took way too long. Uh, editing that's gonna be a little hard, but... Like, that fight is just kinda dumb in, in its own essence. Also, we have a bunch of requests we need to tend to. Let's see what's up. Current arrow materials. Tame the flying arrow from the group date cafe. And then the legendary medicine. Obtain a snake skin from the shadow of the group date cafe. Hopefully the game is done throwing super technical sets at me. Because, like, hey, let's throw five of the enemy that shows up two floors from now right in their faces right now. Just five of them, just, you know. Try to teach them the value of that defend command. Shh. Shake head furiously. Go through this door. And we have access to two pain, two pain tiles. More pain tiles. I'll just deal with the pain tiles later. Okay. This various book. Variety set. So we Mudo this, we Hama this, and then we send everything we have at that, because I don't remember what it's weak to. Let's see how that goes. Not weak to wind. We missed its thorn chains, thank goodness. We couldn't test ice because it missed. Kanji got downed, so that sucks. Made it big time. That's down. And then we're gonna test that one, that one's gonna go down, hopefully. Uh Good. Are you weak to light? Can't tell. Not weak to fire. Weak to ice. Okay, good. I'm glad we figured that out. Persona, gotta find another replacement. Oh boy, it's Oravos. I just what I always wanted to get the fuck out. <sighs> Circle recovery, yes. Do want. Please give. Get rid of that. Yes. And you get Matiti next? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. That'll be good. I've been pushing the DS off the edge. No, it's just close. Alright. Where am I going? Okay, we're going this way. Ding ding. Okay. I saw you. Okay. Oh, it's the stairs! Oh my god! Stairs. Are we triggering any text? Yep. Triggering text. Place is a little bit in disarray. As you go deeper in this floor, it just gets, uh, well, more sinister, shall we say. So you'll especially notice as you look into the sky and at the bears. But the differences between the first and the second floors are pretty small. Alright, so that just leaves this small little area, so I'm just gonna... Proc up some sandals. Walk over this. So we got this little area over here, and then we got this area over here. Which leads to a box. We love those. I always love boxes. And we run into variety set. Not quite variety set. Double book snake set. Still not very pleasant. No, compared to that 5 rock set, I think pretty much any other set is just too easy. Because I got 16, but isn't going to learn anything since 21. Which is fine. Somebody heal Senpai. Somebody heal me. Wait, what? You gave me a sword, bitch. Where? What? Oh, there's two different types of swords. There's broad, uh, the swords I use, and then there's the swords other people use. So yeah, this is the one for Olin and not Junpei. Okay, so Junpei uses the same sword I do, and then the other main character uses a unique type of sword. Silly. But it's what's there, so we'll just live on. Don't you think there's something strange about 
about that wall. Alright. We still have the sandals in effect, so I'm gonna quickly make my way over to the other area. I'm running on fumes here. Yeah, I give up. I could try to walk on more of these, but it's just too big of a chore. Huh. <sighs> Fine. I'm done for the day. Alright, so that's just about everything. There's a small area that we haven't explored, but it's behind all the pain floor, and I just don't have patience to reach it, so... That's going to be it for the day. Alright, so hey there everyone, this has been Life Guys Always, and thank you for watching. Next time, we'll explore the second floor. I'll see you guys then, bye-bye.